This conference will now be recorded. So we'll call to order the Monterey Select Board at 1137 on November 17th. Um, we have all three members present here in town hall. And we're also joined by town council. Thank you, Donna, for joining us. Um, just to, I know Tuesday we had discussed the evaluation process for the town administrator, and I said that I would reach out to town council and to the Collins Center as HR. And I did speak with Donna about the process, and I have also asked her to be present here in case anyone had any further questions. Um, but the gist of it is that you really can't <laughs> hold an executive session to discuss uh, an evaluation unless something arises over the course of the evaluation that uh, would warrant that, which to my knowledge, that's not the case in our, in our situation here. That being said, it might make a lot of sense to do a composite evaluation um, so that it's not as much of a personal, each review is not as a personal, but it is a overall review from the board. Um, that being said, if the board does want to move forward with a composite evaluation, um, Donna, when I was speaking to her on the phone, said that she would be willing to compile that and prepare that. I also spoke this morning with Mary from UMass Collins Center and emailed her, and I think I forwarded the email to everyone. I did not see it. But I, I, I have it here. Um, I explained the situation and um, briefly, she feels that it wouldn't be appropriate given that we don't even have a contract with Collins Center yet. I think if we really, really, really wanted to do it, she would be willing to. Uh, that was the sense that I got. If we, and we put the right pieces. She also said, herself that she felt compiling a composite evaluation is more of a technical uh, summarization and it doesn't require um, specifically you know an HR consultant and she felt that town council was well equipped to, to handle this um, and because we had the willingness of town council to do it um, you know she felt that that was a fine route to proceed for especially given, which he mentioned in the email. Um, so all that being said, what I would propose would be to send the individual evaluations as well as comments that the town administrator has on the individual evaluations and any other comments that board members has have in response to those individual meetings to town council and town council would um, produce a composite evaluation, which then could be um, uh, discussed by the board. I have a question. Would we see the composite as a board member or is it just, I mean, how does that work? Yes. She does the, then we see the composite. Yes. Okay. Um, but that wasn't the way it worked last time. Was that the way I understood? The, the way thing? that it, it worked last time was essentially the same, except for one difference at the end. Mm -hmm. um, well, there were a couple differences in the process. Obviously, it was the HR director doing the composite evaluation. Um, we did 360 reviews, but the main difference was that the composite evaluation was simply deposited into the personnel file, and the board never discussed it. Or ne saw never, it. never discussed saw it. Saw it. Yeah, so what we're saying, we as individual board members, we get the composite, whether it's Collins or Donna mm -hmm. and see that, but we would not discuss the composite or we would. We would. That's okay, kind of okay. the point of this. And okay. I'm especially just to understand the especially concept. with the contract and potential negotiations for whatever route is proceeded forward with, that's kind of the important Susan had mentioned. Um, it's important to have an open discussion about that as a board. Mm -hmm. Um as far as contract negotiation goes, the way I understand it is we can enter into executive session to discuss negotiation strategy. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the weird question I have is when you're doing that, do you have to pre-announce that you're going to do it since it's a closed session anyway, or can that, and I'm not sure it would be relevant here. This is more a general question, but like, Let's say we're having a con conversation and then we come to some conclusion and we're like, well, do we want to enter executive session to talk about potential contract implications? Can we do that? Or do we then have to say, okay, we'll call one for another day? They have to call it for, like, the, the, for another, another day. day. I think Frank's right, but Donna, since we have you on the call, could you please speak to that if you're able to hear us? And if not, we can repeat the question. Yeah. Uh, it, it there was a little bit of talking over, so let me know what specific question you have. Um, if we were, if, let's say we're having a conversation about the review and we reach a point where we think we can have a discussion about a contract negotiation, can we then make it an executive session or like other circumstances, would we have to announce that? because? It's closed to the public, which is the point of an executive session anyway. So if all the parties are there, what's the point of pre-announcing the executive session? Yeah, I I get it, but the law does require you to put on your agenda if you're going to go into an executive session and you need to uh, submit a description of the reason for going into an executive session. So you could not just vote to go into executive session at that meeting if it wasn't already on the agenda. So if you think you might want to do that, then put it on your agenda anyway. And if you choose not to go into executive session because you're not ready to discuss uh, specifics of the contract, then you don't need to. I don't, I don't have a particular preference either way. I just wanted to know if we have that option. Should it? be desired and you know if it ends up going another to another meeting then it goes to another meeting mm -hmm. so I don't have a strong feeling I just want to know what our options were. I think like Donna recommended at the end uh, posting it in the case and then just not that we want to use an executive session is a good idea we also wouldn't need to enter into executive session but we have that option okay. right and I just wanted to give us options that's yeah. all so that would probably be wise to post that on the agenda. Um, other, other than that, um, is there a general consensus to send individual evaluations to Donna? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, do, Donna, do you have any timeline for when you think you could complete that? Um. Fairly quickly, I could probably do it by Wednesday of next week. Okay. Okay. That's fair enough. Yeah. So then we need to get into her mind. Yeah, Donna. Is today helpful, or is first thing Monday morning sufficient? Or I mean, obviously, I think we pretty much have it. We could send it to you today. I just don't have my conference ready. Yeah. So is this so Monday morning? If, yeah, first thing Monday morning. Does that work for you? Is when you would like the composite? No, no, no. when we can get you our Appraisal. the materials that we need to get to you. Oh yeah, it's, that's fine. Okay. okay. Thank you. So if it, if she'll have it Wednesday, then we talk it talk about it following Tuesday after that. Yes, and, and and Melissa and I discussed because of the holiday on the Thursday. We can post the agenda the twenty fourth, but we may well post it the twenty second. Um, you can always amend it if you. Yeah, I, I but I think we'll have a general sense of. I mean, that agenda topic will probably be something like town administrator evaluation, and then you know enter into executive session to discuss negotiation strategy, and we'll put that on there. And if we don't use it there? Yeah, we don't use it. So. I don't feel prepared. Yeah. I don't have any other questions. So, so oh, very forward. just to clarify how materials are being sent, I think probably what makes the most sense is each board member should send their evaluation to Donna, CC, Melissa, um, and then Melissa can send her 
comments on the evaluations to Donna, CC, the board member, you know, relevant board member. That way everyone's on the same page about what everybody is going in. We can't are send to our other. Exactly. And then I know, like, I think I might have a couple things that Melissa and I discussed about. I might write a couple of addendas, but I'll include that as well uh, if I do. That way Melissa knows what's going into the composite. Uh, and Donna gets it, so. Thank you for doing that. Thank you, Donna, for pitching in. Sure, my pleasure. Yeah, and thank you for coming this morning. Um, just one oh. last thing before we adjourn. I think we're all set, Donna. Thank you. And, thank you, uh, Donna. Okay. We'll have everything to you for free Monday morning. Terrific. Talk to you later. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. You too. Thanks, uh, guys. Just a quick word on UMass Collins Center was that I got a little bit behind the eight ball, and I didn't actually – I, my plan was to call her like first thing this morning before we went to work. And I sent an email and I got a vacation response and I was like, oh no, I kind of let it go down. But she ended up emailing right back and calling and then emailing again. So I think that's a really that's a really good response. response. Yeah, 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 yeah. wow. Actually, we don't even have a contract. Yeah, I know. I just want to put in a word of appreciation for that um, level of kindness. So yeah, definitely. That, that was that's good to hear, actually. Um, motion to adjourn. Second. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And Susan. Yeah. Uh, unanimous. Meeting adjourned at eleven forty-nine a.m. And I I will not make.